Hi everybody! My name is Jessica and I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! If you don't have a demonstrator already, I would love to send you a catalog. So please drop me a personal message through Facebook and uh, let me know you'd like to get a catalog and I will get that in the mail for you. In the meantime, uh, enjoy this video! Hello and thank you for joining me today! I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful cards using our Gilded Autumn Suite in our August to December mini catalog. I also wanted to remind you our designer series paper, we have a good selection of it uh, that's 15% off right now all the way through the end of October. So I would definitely go on there and check it out and uh, take advantage of that while you can. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is if you spend $35 or more on my website before then using the link below you are going to receive the kits to make these two cards in the mail. So when you receive the kits, you'll get everything to make these two cards. All you'll need is the stamp sets, the ink, and um, adhesive that you want to use on it. And so I'm going to show you how to put those cards together today. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned, you'll need stamps, ink, and adhesive to put these kits together. For both of these cards, I'm going to be using the Beautiful Autumn stamp set, and these are cling-on stamps, so I'm going to be needing the blocks to, for them to cling to, and I'm going to be using the H block and the D block today. I'm also going to be using the Simply Chamois to clean my stamps as well today. And then for the ink, I chose the Cajun Craze for one card, and we're going to use the Mementos Tuxedo Black for the other card. And then for my adhesives, I like to use the uh, silicone sheet to help keep my work surface from getting sticky. Uh, for both my adhesives, I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal as the uh, tape runner adhesive, and then my liquid glue, the Tombow Multi-Liquid Glue. So that's what I'm going to be using today. We're going to get started. Let me get this stuff set aside really quick. And we're going to start with this card here. And for that we're going to use the Cajun Craze ink so we can get everything else set aside. Okay, and in this kit, we'll just go ahead and get it opened up so you can see what's in it. Whoops, don't lose any pieces. There's lots of little pieces in there. We will set those off to the side here at first because we'll do those at the very end. Okay, so you will start with, uh, you have an envelope, and then we also have a card base, which is measured uh, 8.5 by 5.5, and, and you fold that in half. And inside, I put two pieces of paper. These are cut at 5 and a quarter by 4, and I put those inside because there's another piece of paper that is measured slightly different, so you want to keep those separate. So the outside piece, this is very vanilla, and this is cut at uh, 5 and 3 sixteenths by 3 and 15 sixteenths. And that layers behind our piece of designer series paper, which measures at 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. All right, inside we also have three of these squares out of our early espresso. And I used the... Um, layering square dies for this and let me just show you really quick. I used size number three Which this is how I measure them from starting from the smallest and then going to the largest and with these Dies they go back and forth because they can't all fit in the exact same like the I Won't even try to explain it. I'm sorry It goes from smallest to largest and smallest starts on this side and then goes to second third fourth fifth sixth And then the largest ends up on this side. So starting from the smallest. This is the first then second, and then number three would be this third one here. So that's how I measure which one to cut out. So this is number three, third from the smallest, and that's from our uh, layering uh, squares dies. Pardon me. Okay, so then next we have two strips. One is uh, cut at a half an inch. Hold on, let me check my notes. So this is a piece of... Um, very vanilla, and this is cut at a half an inch by three and a half inches. And then we have a piece of early espresso, and this is cut at three quarters of an inch by four inches. And both ends I punched using our lovely labels pick a punch, and it, it fits uh, the different sizes in there. So I just used the half inch size and the three quarters inch size. 
and we're going to use that to layer on top of each other later on. And last but not least, we have these. Let me flip them over, get them right. Okay, we have these little leaves and acorns that we punched out of. Um, hopefully, you can get the gilded on them so you can see that they're the foiled ones. Uh, we punched these out of another piece of designer series paper, and I have a video showing you how to do this in the link below or in the description below I have a link for you so you can uh, click on that link and see how to make some of these yourself using the same designer series paper uh, if you get this pack it's in that pack so you don't have to worry about it um, it has the punches that go with it so um, those are separate in the the book so you can check that out I'll show you which in in the video I show you which ones you'll need to to punch those out anyways all right let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna leave this up here as a little reference we're gonna set these things aside. So the very first thing I always do when I'm making a card is my stamping. And so for this card, what we need is our sentiment right here. And for that, we're going to use um, the Have a Beautiful Day out of our Beautiful Autumn stamp set. And I'm just going to get that ready because I'm going to show you we're going to do some stamping on the inside as well. I try to get this as straight as possible because it's such a skinny line there you want it to be whoops I still huh? I try to set it on its side and then let it kind of just fall down so it doesn't have a way to tweak any which way hopefully okay and then we're also going to take out this little piece of wheat and we'll stick that on our other block and we're going to use that to decorate our inside piece all right, so the first one we're going to do, we're going to both use a Cajun craze for both of these. All right, we'll go ahead and do our little greeting first. All right, and then like I said, I'm using my uh, Simply Chamois to clean that. And you just stamp it on there. Uh, you get your Simply Chamois wet, and then you can just stamp your stamps off on there and it cleans it. And you don't have to worry about it getting ink on there or anything. It stays on the chamois. You don't get it on your fingers or anything like that. Okay. So we'll set this off to the side, if I can grab it, set it off to the side to dry. And then now we're going to grab one of those inside pieces out of uh, the inside of the card. And all we need is one of them. One of them's going to go, as you can see in here, one goes on the top, so it'll just be a plain one. We can set that off to the side. But the one on the bottom we're going to decorate. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. We're going to take our piece of wheat, and I put it on there. Um, as you can see in some of these, it's the same exact piece, but I actually was able to just bend it around. So first, we're going to start it just straight, and we're going to do um, quite a few of them just straight. And you know what? I forgot. I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper, because I don't want to stamp on my surface. Okay. So you can get them as tall or as short as you want and kind of angle them whichever way you want. So over here I'm going to do one kind of off to the side over here. And then the other one I want to kind of come up and loop around. And then so we'll come over to this other side. Get my paper lined up where I want it. Okay. So with this one we're going to do like a little short one in the corner here. And a nice tall one next to it. And then one kind of angled off to the side. Okay, and then now at this point we're going to stop and clean our stamp. And that way we can move it around with getting our, without getting our uh, fingers all inked up. Okay got all the ink off of it so now we're just going to kind of pick up this um, top part and move it how we want it so we're going to do this first one and it, we're going to angle it off to the left to our left a little bit 
And so once you get it at the angle you want it, then you want to push it real hard into the block to get it to stay. And then you can go ahead and ink it up. And then we'll do this one over here on this side. You have to be careful, make sure you push it hard enough or else sometimes it'll start sliding back before you go put it on or you know press down the stamp. I've had that happen before. Okay, so now we're going to clean it again so we can angle this other one the other way. If I can get my paper to stay where I'd like it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take off this part again and angle it the other way, and I want I want it to angle down quite a bit in this one, which is going to be a little tighter and harder, so you got to press it pretty hard to make sure it stays and doesn't move on me and we'll just work quickly ink it up and then we want it about right there all right now we can clean our stamp And we can go ahead and put our stamps and our ink away because we are all done stamping for this card and all we have left is assembly now. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of our stamps back really quick. We'll set that off to the side because we are all done with it. Okay, so we'll get rid of our little scratch piece of paper there. So this is going to be our inside pieces that will go inside the card. So we can set those aside to dry as well. And we will start assembling. Okay, so we're going to start with our card base and that those front two panels that I showed you. And I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to take the uh, stamp and seal and go ahead and get the back piece of our um, designer series paper nice and sticky. I like to just go around all the edges with our stamp and seal. And then just put a tiny little bit in the middle to keep it from bubbling up. Okay, and then we're going to layer this right on top of our very vanilla piece of paper or cardstock, I should say. And we just want to make sure it's nice and even, lined up straight on there. Okay. All right, now we're going to take that whole piece and flip it over and use our stamp and seal again on the back of that. Got a piece of my little scraps over there in here. Okay. And I just uh, get it sticky the same way. Okay, then we're going to take our piece of card base and we're going to put the front panel right on top of that, centered again. All right, and there's our front piece. All right, the next thing we're going to do is layer our, or put our three squares on here and we want to make them kind of even. Let me show you the front here. So I did it down about a half an inch and then just spaced them evenly. So down about a half an inch and both edges I want probably about a quarter of an inch in. And then the middle one I just kind of spaced exactly even between the two of them. So I'm going to start with one side. I think I've lost one of my pieces. We'll find it when we get around to it. Oh, it's stuck to the bottom of my mat here. There we go. Okay. So I have these kind of about positioned where I'd like them. So we're just going to get started with our first piece. They move around so easily, so you'll never get them exactly to stay where you want them. But once you get started putting them down, then you'll get a better idea. Okay, so we wanted about a half an inch from the top and about a quarter of an inch from the side. Somewhere around in there. Oh, 
All right. Now, I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing. kind of eyeball it. I don't think anybody's going to take a microscope to it, you know, and double check if you're right on. <laughs> I always worry about that, of course, even though it's not going to happen. I'm just such a perfectionist when I'm lining things up and trying to get it straight. I have to tell myself it's okay. So many times other people, I've just seen them put things together and they don't even care and, and throw it together and in the end it just looks great and you don't even worry about if it was exactly straight or not you know <laughs> so don't let that part of it scare you and make you not want to do it just enjoy it it's a lot of fun okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our little leaves and acorns in our squares and to do that I'm going to use the Tombow liquid glue this stuff works great for anything that has weird, odd shapes where you can't get like a straight line with the tape runner. And we don't need much. We're just going to... Whoops. There, I got a bunch on there as I said that. Okay, we're just going to squeeze a little bit out here and kind of smear it around. I love this glue. I never liked glue hardly at all until I used this glue. And I love this stuff. So you can put these in which, whichever order that you like. I kind of just chose to do it this way for my own reasonings. <laughs> I liked that this, um, this little leaf was already leaning out, so I wanted it on the outside rather than kind of swooping in on the other side. And I wanted to put this little acorn right in the middle because it's the only one that was an acorn and the other two were leaves, so why not? It can go right in the middle. And then the other leaf, obviously, is left for the other side, so there you go. But you can choose any order in which you'd like to put them in. Just one in each of them, that's all. The nice thing about this glue also is it gives you a little bit of time to move things around a little bit if you don't have it exactly where you want it. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room. <clears throat> Makes it really nice. The key to this glue, though, is like not getting too much. If you get too much and it squirts out everywhere, it just doesn't dry very nicely. kind of leaves a little bit of sticky out the side, just as if it was tape runner. So you still just want to put a tiny little bit because it sticks so well and you really don't have to worry about it. And you don't want it smushing out the sides too much. All right. So we got our three little leaves and acorns up there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take our Have a Beautiful Day sentiment, and we can use the tape runner on this. And I'm just gonna do one stripe right down the middle of it. And we're gonna layer that on top of our piece of early espresso. Let me take this off our mat so we can see. The brown is so hard to tell on the brown. Even though they're two different shades of brown, they still make it hard to see. <laughs> All right, I think that's about centered. Woo, almost bent it. Be careful. Ah! Oh. I keep. It's weak in that spot now. I gotta be careful. Okay, now we're going to use our tape runner also on the back of this one. And we're gonna stick this right to the front, just kind of centered in the bottom, below the, got a little sticky over here, gotta bend in, below the leaves, centered below the leaves and the bottom here in between the two sides. Just somewhere in there. I think that looks about good. All right. There you have it. Look at that. Now all we have to do is put the inside in 
and those are simple. We already stamped the bottom piece, so let's go ahead and flip that over. We're just going to use our stamp and seal on that as well. As you can tell, I love the stamp and seal. I use it as much as I can. Pretty much, I use the other glue when I can't use stamp and seal. <laughs> But otherwise, I love tape runners. It makes it so much easier. Okay, we're going to center this in here. All right. And then the other piece that goes on the top. A lot of people uh, don't do the top, or both sides, I should say. Both sides, if you open it like a book, or top and bottom. Um, but... I like to leave both. I've had a lot of people who buy um, buy my cards for like their offices and stuff, you know, and they want enough room to sign. So I figured better more than not enough, you know, so I always put both in. But you only have to put one in. You really don't have to do both of these if you don't want to. That's completely your choice. Plus, I like to decorate, so it takes up half the space anyways if I'm decorating. All right, so there you have it. There's our first card. I hope you guys loved this one. Uh, the only difference I made was um, our leaves and acorns on the... Let me just show you, actually. Let's see if I have a piece of it really quick. So this is the piece of um, designer series paper that we punched all of those out of. And they match perfectly with our autumn punch pack. Uh, but one of the... the <sighs> pardon me. Half of them are like uh, gold foiling, and the other half is like a rose gold foiling. So they're really pretty, different colors, you know, and you can choose whichever one you'd like. So that's the only difference I made. This first one, if you can tell, I did the gold foiling on those ones. Let's see if you can tell in the light. I don't know. the With all that shining behind it, it's hard to tell the leaves themselves. Anyways, and then with this one, I did the rose gold and in person, it looks a lot better with the rose gold, but either way, it looks very pretty. I like them both, and I hope you guys enjoy this card, too, and we'll try it out. And uh, another thing that you can do, also, if you want for the envelope, you can take that little um, wheat stamp and do some stamps over here in the corner for the envelope, and that'll help it to match as well. Enjoy making this card. I can't wait to see your guys's. Okay, so for the next card... We're going to use the same things. We're going to use the beautiful Autumn um, stamp set. Instead of the Cajun Craze ink, though, we are going to use the Me Memento... Me okay, I cannot say that. Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Okay, so we'll also use the same blocks to go with our stamp set. And then I'm going to be using the same adhesive as well. All right. So in this kit, we're going to put all these small pieces off to the side. I like to start with the biggest. All right, so you have your envelope. We're going to set that off to the side. And then we have our card base, which is also 8.5 by 5.5. But instead of folding it in half, this time I uh, scored from the edges. Like if you put it from the edge, it's 2 and 1 8 inch in from both sides and then I folded both of those in and that's how we made the card base for this one. Then on the inside we have two panels, one piece of cinnamon cider which is cut at five and a quarter by four and then a piece of very vanilla which is cut at five by three and three quarters and those are going to go on the inside. And then we have two layering panels for the front. We have two pieces of the cinnamon cider cardstock which is cut at let me grab my notes because I forgot the exact measurements let's see so this is the cinnamon cider this is cut at five and a quarter in length by one and seven eighths inches wide two pieces of those and then we have two pieces of our designer series paper which is cut at five and one eighths oops five and one eighths uh, length by one and three quarters width. And then we also have two of our ovals from our um, layering, oops, I grabbed the circles instead of the dies, our layering, layering ovals 
dies. Let me see if I can find that one really quick. I had it right here. Okay. And so I was going to show you which sizes we used. I explained in the last one how the sizing, how I size them, starting from the smallest size and working up. So for the very vanilla piece, we used the number four, which is this piece right here. So start here, one, two, three, number four. And then for the cinnamon cider, we used number five, this piece right up here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is our stamping. And the only thing we're going to stamp is our sentiment here. And on the inside, we're going to use our little leaf. I don't know what kind of leaf that is exactly, but our little leaf we're going to use on the inside. So we'll set everything else to the side except for our panel from the inside and our very vanilla um, very vanilla oval. I'm so sorry. My brain's freezing up. Okay. So we're going to use our leaf. And then we're going to use the thank you out of this stamp set. That didn't go on very straight. Okay, there we go. And we're going to use the Mementos ink with both of these. Okay. We're just going to put that down in the corner over here. Hold it for a second for the ink to transfer. All right, take that off and there you go. So we're going to set that aside to dry. And then we're going to do the thank you inside of our oval. It's so hard for me to just press down and not smear smear the ink when I lift up sometimes like if you wipe if you wipe it across there it just wipes the ink right off and I feel like I pick it up off the stamp more than I put it on there sometimes so I just keep inking up and inking up more and more <laughs> some people will probably think I ink up way too much all right we're gonna go ahead and put that away and then we're going to clean both of our stamps real quick. This we're going to set aside to dry. So we have both our sentiment and our inside piece that are stamped. And then now we're going to clean our stamps really quick and put our ink away. And we can put all that stuff away real quick and just do our assembly. I love these uh, Simply Chamois. They're so easy just to stamp your stamp on. Of course, I'm super skeptical all the time, so I stamp it and stamp it and stamp it and make sure there's uh, no ink for sure left on there in any of the little crevices. I've even like picked up the side and smushed it and cleaned off places, but can't be too, uh, too safe with getting your stamps clean, right? Don't want them to get uh, dried out and cracked and ruined where you can't play with them anymore. So you got to take good care of them. All right. So we can go ahead and put all of this away. And now we're going to do our assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these panels that we had. And I'm going to use our glue. So, Because there's such a fine little line that we did, a tiny little border here, that it's really hard to line up sometimes. And I really like the forgiveness that the glue gives when you're trying to line stuff up so you can move it just the slightest bit. My kitty was in here playing earlier and I'm finding this little hair everywhere. It's not fun around sticky stuff. <laughs> okay. So I still try to 
try to line up as best I can so I don't have to do too much wiggling around. But once we get it on there, we can kind of pick it up and see if anything needs scooted just the slightest to line it up. Because with such a fine border, any tiny little bit of excess shows or any little bit makes it look skinnier or fatter. So you want to just be able to line it up really well. All right, and once you get it lined up good, that's when I give it a good press all the way across, kind of like you would with a rolling pin. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Oops, I got over on the side a little bit. It'll be okay. Didn't get on the front of it. That's why I like this sheet. As you can see, there's some glue on there. All you have to do is let it dry a little bit, and then it just peels right off. Just like little sticky, just like the tape runner would. It's kind of sticky, but it doesn't dry on there and get all hard or, or crunchy, hard to get off or anything. I like that sheet and it's only six dollars it's so worth the investment I used to have to get lemon oil all the time and can come clean my surface space because I was getting it sticky all the time and I was having to use like wax paper under it and everything this thing is just so much worth it so much better and way worth it okay we have our two panels ready the next thing we're going to do is attach them to the front of our card. So with this, it's a lot bigger space. We don't have as small of a um, edge, so I just go back to the stamp and seal for this. Okay, and I have tried putting it on open and closed, and I have found out for me that it works better closed. I had a really hard time with it open. It's kind of hard either way because it's such a small piece that you're trying to hold down and get this straight on, but, but I found it to be easier to do closed. You can try it either way, see what works for you. Whoops, see that was a little tiny bit crooked to me. Okay, we'll have to just leave it because I'll rip the paper if I lift it up. I think it'll be okay though. I don't think anybody will notice. I just have to line the other side up like where it's crooked too. <laughs> so that way when they meet in the middle, they don't look too crooked. That's the fun about it. Nobody will know but you, right? Okay, one thing you do want to, to take note of when you're doing this, um, the leaves are kind of going one way or the other. So this way, you know, they're coming down, this way they're going up. So you do want to match it with whichever way you put it on here. You know, it kind of looks a little awkward if you have it upside down as opposed to them both going the same way. So that's the only uh, tip I would say. I'm going to try and hold both of these down so I can line up my mistake here now. See what we can do. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, once we smush them down, get them all lined up. Looky there, it doesn't even look like they're crooked. No one will ever know. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take our two pieces we stamped on. We'll set our oval aside and we're going to stick the inside panels on and we're just going to use the stamp and seal for that as well and 
Here we go. All right, and then we're gonna get the back of that sticky and this is gonna go inside our card. So like I said, um, on the last card, usually I like to put two panels inside, but on these little ones where I do a um, fancy fold, usually I just put the one because it's kind of hard to be able to write on the edges. And if they want to, with this one, it's light enough also. So if they want to write in there, they can. With the other one, it was pretty dark and there's no way you could write on there unless you had like a one of those chalk markers or something. Okay. All right, we are almost done. All we have to do is attach the sentiment to the front. So we take the little piece of very vanilla that we stamped on and we'll get it sticky and we'll put that on our piece of cinnamon cider and we're just gonna center it. It's a little tricky to do with an oval, but it looks super cute, so it's worth it. Whew, I got some sticky on my finger, and every time I try to lift my finger off, it keeps bringing the oval with it. Okay, let's try this again. All right, looks good. Okay, so the last thing you want to definitely listen to this part. We don't want to get the whole thing sticky because it's not going to go across the entire thing. It's only going to attach to one piece. So that way we have that little door to close it. Otherwise you won't be able to open the card. So we only want to get half of it sticky. So it's going to be the part b behind the T-H-A-N in the think. And you don't want to really go past that K. Even though it's hard to see on the back side of it, you don't want to go all the way to halfway. You kind of want to stay on the safe side, <laughs> just so it's not um, coming out and ending up sticking to the other one after all. It sticks pretty good, and I've never had a problem with it holding. Okay. So, once you just get that one half side sticky, we're going to kind of center it. Um, center it side to side, but from top to bottom I go a little more towards the top than the bottom. And once you get it centered, just kind of press it down right there where you want it and press on this side over here where you got it sticky. And voila, there you go. There's your card. And also on the front of this envelope, if you wanted to, you can always take that little leaf and um, stamp a leaf on the front of the envelope as well to go with it. All right, you guys. So here's our cards we made today. I hope you enjoyed making these or watching me make them. I hope you're going to make them as well. And don't forget, if you order $35 or more on my website, then you will get the kits to make these cards for free. So um, definitely take advantage of that. Sorry, I was looking for the other envelope. Definitely take advantage of that and let me know what you guys think. I hope to see you guys posting these cards and stuff on my website I would, or on the group site. I would love to see the ones that you guys make. Happy stamping and see you soon! Thank you.